Hello, hello. I am going to talk all about spring energy today. I have a purring kitty on my lap, so you might get <laughs> you might get a a butt in your face or or a purring kitty in your face. <clears throat> anyway, um when was it? I don't even know what day it is. Today is the 20 I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this past weekend, end of last week, spring finally finally arrived. And there is a lot of energy that happens with, here he is, <clears throat> with springtime. Um, and I want to tell you all about it, especially for all those um, awesome empaths out there. But for one, I, <laughs> I'm leaning forward because Elmo, my cat, is kneading on my leg and his nails are going into my thigh. So, ouch. Okay, but spring is all about releasing clearing out old energy, clearing out old stuff, allowing things to grow. It's about new beginnings. It's about a refresh. And I always say that spring, like if you are going to do, again, I'm not a big resolutions person, but if you are going to be doing a, a New Year's resolution, do it now. <laughs> do it in springtime, we are one with nature and everything is in growth mode and is, hi, do you guys hear him purring? He's like the loudest purr. So January 1st is really like the dead of winter. Like we just started winter and it is not a good time to start anything new. Wait, like, if, if you learn nothing from this group, like it's all about like tuning into your natural rhythms of life, okay? And so when we are in springtime, that is the time to um, really start to manifest what you want in your life, okay? Um, spring since ancient times and the spring equinox is all about the return of the sun in this hemisphere. And so it is about that energy of like rolling up your sleeves, getting in the dirt, releasing old patterns, starting something new, okay? Planting seeds. This is, everything is in bloom, right? And so, you know, as empaths, we love being out in nature. And I actually, I don't remember if I posted it in the group or not. If not, I meant to. And if I could still find the article, I will. But grounding is making a huge, um, uh, I don't know, there's a spotlight on it, so to speak, which is all about like grounding our energy to the earth. Like science is kind of finally catching up with spirituality in a lot of ways where um, there is now scientific research about how grounding to the earth can have um, not only mental health benefits, but physical health benefits. And it's, um, I want to say, I don't know, I don't want to, some, <laughs> I'll look for the, where I found the article. <laughs> I'm a little slow to this morning. I'm like, why am I so out of sorts? And then I also realized that it is a full moon today. So it is, um, and, and tell me if you all feel the same, because I definitely do. When there is a full moon, I feel kind of angsty. My energy is am amped up. I feel more emotional. And so, um, so I'm curious if you all feel the same. My dreams are extra vivid. So I'd love to hear from you. What happens to you during a full moon? Um, and you could drop it below. I'd love to hear from you, as always. Um, so, hi, Elmo. Oh, here, look at this kitty cat. I'll just do that. How's that? How's that for today? And now you guys, you guys get Elmo, too, because he's just awesome. So, what, I'm going to ask you, like, what seeds are you planting in your mind, okay? Are they nourishing that help you move forward in life or that are filled with like positivity positivity and love and growth and belief in yourself or are you planting seeds of like fear and negativity um and lack and so you know what what we think we 
believe and we become. And so this month is all about being mindful of your thoughts and um, and what you are planting for your future. Right, Elmo? Right? <laughs> and so um, because we're talking about spring, I also want to say that there is such a thing called an earth empath or different types of empaths. Um, there's like emotional ones. There are um, uh, intuitive ones. There are animal empaths. There are earth empaths. Earth empaths are really in tune, really, really in tune with um, the, the, the planet and what is going on, you know, and they, so they're really affected by seasons. They're affected by the weather. They're affected by natural disasters. They're almost like similar to animals in that way where they could pick up on the earth's energy vibrations and fields that, um, could let you know when there's like a natural disaster that is going to be happening. Um, like they oftentimes feel anxious or depressed before there's going to be a natural disaster. So are there any earth impasse out there? I'd love to hear from you and hear if that has happened to you um, prior to, um, you know, a big natural disaster. Um, also, spring energy helps you focus and move forward in new, fresh, positive ways. And I'm fully aware that I feel like I'm totally not focused right now. Um, and so again, going back to the resolution thing, it really is a good time of year to start new projects, to release what no longer serves you and find balance in your life. Because again, that equinox is when there it's equal, right? So we want to find balance in our lives. So think about what no longer serves you. Um, and what do you want to let go of? And so, um, so tell me, and also, um, I'm just looking at my notes to see if there's anything that I have not already shared because, um, I write down notes and sometimes I share them and I sometimes don't. And while I'm looking, I want to let you know there's one more week to sign up for the retreat. And we were over in Leavenworth this past weekend. And spring in Leavenworth is amazing. Everything is in bloom. It's beautiful. The skies are blue. Well, actually, Saturday it was kind of rainy. But Sunday it was gorgeous. And um, we did nature walks. And we were outside a lot. And so the retreat, we were going to be doing... Um, you know, we're going to be meditating, we're going to be doing um, past life sessions, um, we're going to be learning about like soul contracts and why you attract certain people into your life and why you all signed up for it. Um, and there's also going to be a lot of room for just rest and relaxation and just enjoying, um, just enjoying being with awesome women and or by yourself and being in nature and journaling and resting and just chilling out your nervous system. And so who does not want that? So I will post the link again uh, down in this live as well. Um, and if you have any questions, just DM me. I'm happy to chat with you about it. So, um, so yeah, so that is about it. Spring has sprung and also um, it's a full moon, which means completion, which is interesting because spring means start of new and a full moon means a completion. Um, so, you know, and like harvesting all the goodness that you, uh, sowed, sowed this month. Okay. That is all my friends. Um, I will see you in the group this week. Um, reminder one last time that it's one week, um, left to register for the retreat, which is April 18th to the 21st. And um, I'm just inviting you all to it because it's going to be amazing and fabulous and fun too. Okay. Mwah. That's all. Bye.